Hey everyone, what's up? It's Rob here, and I went to the eruption at night for the first time last night. And I wanted to share that experience with all of you through the amazing videos that I took while I was on my journey. Not all of them are amazing, but I thought it was great. So the actual path is kind of the same. You go through path A, but they took the rope section down, so they have altered the path. I've covered this in previous video, but the lava and the eruption has caused some changes to the path. Now, the actual journey up the path this time was more difficult than any of the other previous times that I've gone. And I think the reason is, is because more and more people are going and crushing the rocks into small pebbles, or it's more of a sand, which makes it very slippery. Now, the slopes are not as steep as you might think. I mean, looking at the video, it looks at times pretty steep, but the, the real problem is that it's very sandy and a lot of small pebbles and it's very slippery because of that. The times I went previously, the rocks and there, there was less sand, so it was easier to get your footing because of that. Now I have, I always bring gloves just in case I need to use my hands more. I needed to stabilize myself with my hands a little bit more than before. Now making your journey up, there's one way as you can saw, saw those people there were going the wrong way. But they've diverted the path to the right-hand side of where you would normally go. And again, that's because the lava has gone over an area and they have the safe area that they're expanding. And they've actually expanded the safe area to a greater distance today. So I was pretty fortunate to be there yesterday in the so-called now danger zone. You can see here as you're first walking up, you see this smoke from a distance and you're, you start kind of climbing up this small hill. It's not too hard at all. And you just see this crowd of people looking over. And this is going to be the first glimpse that you get as you're walking towards the volcano. Now, you're still quite far away, but it's a great first picture spot to take as you approach it. So you can see it only takes a few minutes. You can see the smoke quite a distance away especially if you go at night because it does go so high up i mean we can see it from reykjavik but going up this hill then you start seeing these the shoots of lava going up into the sky you can see here people crowded around taking pictures most people just have their phones taking selfies and stuff like that but walking up you really get a sense for the scale and the amount of lava that's actually come across and encompass this entire valley now spilling over into these other valleys. That area down there that you see used to be where you would go when I first went, you would sort of walk through that area. But again, the lava's in that area now, so they closed it off and now you have to take this second path, which is a bit higher up than the previous one, as you can see. Along that path, there's a couple options that you have. Now for me, I saw a lot of people climbing up this, this really big hill and I thought, you know what? Yeah, let's go up the hill. So I made my way up this steep hill that was pretty slippery, but there was some moss and some steady rocks that you can use. But I started walking towards the edge and I thought being one of the highest vantage points, this was going to be sort of my spot to go. Now, there's a lot of other people that were a huge amount of different areas in the valley. But this one here, I think, was for the people who sort of braved going all the way up here. It gives you a really great overview of the amount of lava and the direction it's all going. So this lava you can see here, that's the area where it was first erupting from. That's where everyone was initially. And I actually ventured down there later on, <laughs> later on but I wanted to get some really great shots of the volcano from up top here. Now, looking over even to the right of all of this is even more lava. I mean, it's incredible how much this thing has actually spread across this entire valley in only, you know, a handful of weeks. I mean, I was there just a couple of weeks ago and it's, it's really amazing to me how different each time I go, how different the actual lava is and how much the eruption changes week by week. 
And I think that the news now is saying that there's three different sections and each section is roughly around two weeks and then the volcano activity changes and the eruption changes and it goes into this new phase. Whereas now we're in this phase of this sort of geyser effect where the volcano kind of settles down for a little bit. We've all seen it in all the videos. It settles down and then like you can see here, it all of a sudden just releases this enormous power the crazy thing as I'm as I was climbing up this mountain is I had these sort of little pebbles hitting me and I thought that someone was kind of like tossing rocks but it turned out to be the small bits of I don't know if they're rocks or debris I guess from the eruption shooting into the air and then raining down on me as I went by now they were very very small so it wasn't anything that was hurting me but I think that's also why they're going to be adjusting the eruption area or the safe area, sorry, is because of this debris that's falling down could be potentially dangerous. Now here I've actually descended down that mountain slope to get a really close view of this lava wall that's here. Now when I was up top, it didn't look that high up. Again, the perspective was a bit off, but as you get down, you really realize how intense the heat is and how intense the amount of you know the height i mean these things are taller than me for sure so going face to face with this lava that's this red hot as it's crumbling knowing what i know with all of the videos and the lava pools and things like that stupidly i got really really close to this this sort of wall of lava now it's i don't know what comes over people and I definitely fell victim to this where I'm walking towards this and in my mind is I just want to get closer and take a better look and so you can see here I was really close as pieces are falling off at any point it could just flood this area but I thought it was amazing that there's this ground on fire and the lava wasn't there and reading some of the comments it could be just from the heat emitting from the lava that's ignited the ground but it was extremely hot to be this close and so i could only film for a few minutes at a time now i made my way back up to the mountain because some of the search and rescue guys came and they kicked us out and they said okay you a you're way too close <laughs> to, to the lava it's very dangerous especially with all of this smoke but uh, it was just after 11, so they said it's time to go. So as I made my way back up the mountain, I wanted to get one last video of the area. And you can see how widespread it is. Lights off in the distance. You can see all of that is just people. You got police cars down there helping guide people out. But all this, this lava is just everywhere in this valley. It is really unbelievable. I was, I was walking back. And there was one girl, I'm not sure where she was from, or one woman, I should say, and she was saying to her mom that she couldn't believe that people lived in Iceland and have not gone to see this volcano. And I could not agree more. Really spectacular. If you're watching this and you live in Iceland, just make your way there before, before it all ends or before it's too far to actually go and walk and see the, the actual volcano closer up really really spectacular i mean i've gone three times i want to go again so that's it for me it's a couple last shots of just as i'm leaving the area at night it doesn't get completely dark so that's why it's got this blue haze thank you so much for watching as you can see here everyone's got flashlights to come if you like this video hit the like button if you want to keep up to date with all the different kinds of stuff i'm doing just hit subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when something goes on so until next time thank you so much for watching